Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the internet, and the like, and welcome back to Team Fortress 2. What I have for you here is a quick little engineer gameplay on CP Gravel Pit using the Rescue Ranger, the Wrangler, and the Stock Wrench. What I'm specifically doing is a little offense trick that I learned from a YouTuber named Solarlight. Link to his channel will be in the description below if you not only want some hilarity, but some tips on how to completely ruin the enemy team's day. Here you can see me setting up a teleporter and a level 3 sentry. What my plan is for this video is to take this sentry and transport it to a location somewhere in front of the red team's spawn. Doing this actually isn't as tricky as you might perceive it to be, as there are a few select locations on this map that are usually ignored at the start of a game. First of all, there's the hallway to the left that leads to point C from point A. This section usually goes unchecked since it's a slightly longer distance to reach point A if you are on red. However, it's not without its occasional visitors. I ran into a dead ringer spy right here, but managed to smash him in the face after I accidentally bumped into him. Secondly, there is that exit from Red Spawn that almost nobody ever uses, since it's technically also a little farther from both points A and B. When I reach this door, I start setting up a teleporter, and a devil man suddenly walks out right as I start building my exit. Thankfully, my wrench had more crits than his bottle of whiskey, and I could finish setting up my teleporter. Now, this same demo man knows that I am up to some sneaky business, so I suicide in order to haul my sentry through more quickly. Technically, you could do the same trick under less time using the Eureka effect, as now it allows you to teleport back and forth between your spawn and your teleporter exit, and it's especially noteworthy that hauling is now possible with it. What you might be thinking to yourself is how much longer it would take to level up and repair with that wrench. Both of these elements aren't a problem, as one, there was an engineer on my team that kindly upgraded my teleporter to level 3, and two, my my plan isn't to repair my sentry using a wrench, per se. And this is the part where the Rescue Ranger comes into play. There's definitely a lot more of a risk turtling up on that rooftop where my sentry is, as just about any class could spam shots at me from a distance outside of my sentry's range. It could be a spy with a revolver, a sniper, and especially a soldier using a rocket launcher. Plus, I wouldn't really have enough time to build a dispenser and keep my sentry under maintenance without the possibility of dying. With the Rescue Ranger, I can stay on ground level and repair my sentry while the enemy is distracted by it, and with the Wrangler, I'm able to take out pesky targets that are just outside of my sentry's range. Now, that demo man from earlier does manage to destroy my teleporter exit, but I managed to run here just in time to save my sentry who's being spammed out by a soldier using the Liberty Launcher. Which is a bit of an odd rocket launcher choice, I think it would be better if he had been using something like the Direct Hit, but I digress. In a couple of seconds, a sniper on the other team does manage to catch on to this plan, and rather smartly, he attempts to shoot down me, the engineer, as I'm able to both heal and wrangle my sentry gun from far away. I do manage to shoot him down, however, and I immediately switch my location to repair my gun from a different angle. All things considered, this gives my team enough time to both capture points B and C, and I've successfully trapped the red team from defending their territory. So that concludes this short little gameplay. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day or evening, and I guess I will see you in the next video.